Hello everyone! It is almost time for Halloween and with such a wonderful and amazing holiday coming up, it is time to start carving pumpkins. However, I am creating this video as an alternative to carving because sometimes our works of art don't necessarily come out quite the same or as we want them. So I'm going to paint Jack Skellington on a pumpkin instead of trying to carve it and this is how I do it. I made a little sketch for reference so I would know what to do first and you know didn't just pulled some supplies that I had along the house nothing special just got a plain pumpkin from the store you know my nightmare for Christmas stuff for reference and inspiration my sketchbook some acrylic paint and some paint brushes. Now to make sure that I don't vary very to make sure I don't veer for my original sketch I put a little outline on the pumpkin first and because acrylic is messy make sure that you paint over you know some newspaper or you know a surface that you don't worry too much about getting messy because acrylic won't really come off of anything also make sure you wear something that you don't care about because that acrylic not coming off Unfortunately, it's not like watercolor. Another thing about acrylic is you're probably going to have to paint with a couple of layers. As you'll see in a little while, I am going to paint with a couple of layers. And I was showing you that each time when you're painting with acrylics, you have to really make sure to clean your brush before you move on to another color, or it's gonna mix and dilute the color that you're working with and just mess up your, your piece that you're working so hard on. So make sure that you thoroughly wash your brush in between washes. Another thing to watch out for is acrylic paint dries really quickly. So once you put it on you know, your palette or your plate that you're using, I would highly recommend you just don't put too much on it or keep an eye on it because it's gonna dry and you have a possibility of wasting your paint. Something that I had to take into consideration is obviously when painting on a pumpkin, it's not a flat surface. It's rounded, it's not, you know, paper, it's not canvas. So I really had to take my time and move with the pumpkin and take into account um, that the shape of the pumpkin was pretty much going to guide my brush. I would say to make sure that your brush is loaded with enough paint, but also isn't overwhelmed. So you can kind of control as much as possible the bristles and where it's going and just go slowly and take your time. I sped this up just a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing, but it's not gonna take forever to watch. Um, this did take a couple of hours, obviously because um, I had to let things dry and paint with a couple of layers. But I'm just going in and laying in the flats right here. Sometimes when it comes to more colors that aren't as dark as black, you might need to lay down a white foundation first before you um, start painting with your colors. That way you only have to do one layer of your colors. So if you're not doing a white face like I am, then I suggest laying out um, your background shapes first with white and then painting on top of it. But you can see that I had to go in and put another layer of white on and it's really starting to pop now, which is good. I chose Jack Skellington obviously because Nightmare for Christmas is my favorite, but also because I'm painting on an alien surface and I'm not really sure how things are going to come out. Oh, that's dirty water. You see that? Make sure you change it. <laughs> never, never, never let paint with dirty water, especially with acrylics or your stuff is going to mix like as such. But because the surface is alien and I wasn't sure what to expect. I wanted to choose something simple and then with the paint I got a little more detailed. I added a little bit of blue and a little bit of black and purple and mixed them together to kind of give his shape, his face shape. So like where the eye sockets are and then where his nose is and the ridge of his head. I'm going in and I'm basically layering and then while the paint is wet going in and blending. Now that is one benefit to acrylic is while it's wet, you can go in and blend it. You have to be careful though and make sure that if you don't want um, one color to mix into the next, you have to wipe off your brush as you're doing it. So 
acrylic is a great benefit you know if you want to do the blending and layer your colors i would start with something simple like i am right here with jack so i'm really just doing black and white and then using um for the shadows light blue and purple and mixing it in with the white and the black and just getting a little bit of variation so he doesn't look quite so flat but i suggest you do something simple like a face or something with um, a very small color palette if this is the first time you're doing it just like i am um, and then just building and taking your time with it and just, you know, experimenting and having fun. This turned out to be a whole lot of fun. And one of the benefits is this is you you still have a mess because it's paint. However, you your pumpkin's not gonna rot. After putting in all this hard work into creating this wonderful little pumpkin face, it's not gonna rot and you can have it for next year. Um, so that's why I wanted to make this because I have a problem with drawing um, a really nice picture on my pumpkin and then <laughs> it never comes out how I want. So I was like, you know what, I'm sick and tired of putting a bunch of hard work into my pumpkins um, only for them to come out and it be ruined or not look like my drawing. This way you can make a cool drawing and be like, oh, that would look great on a pumpkin and then you know, you can play with it more. If you want to do more with it, you can just build more colors and it's not going to rot and you get to keep it forever. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, that was basically my thought behind this video. Um, and I'm kind I'm really happy with how he turned out. Um, if you don't want to blend your paints and you want something more flat, then I highly recommend waiting until each layer dries. The good thing about acrylic is it dries really quickly. So you won't have to wait too long for everything to dry, but if you don't want to blend your stuff, then definitely wait until each layer has dried before you start to work on your next color or your next highlight or whatever, it, your next set of painting. And I also recommend um, like painting dark to light instead of with watercolors I paint light to dark but it depends on your preference and how you enjoy thinking and you know how just it's it depends on what kind of painter you are and how you think um the cool thing about acrylics is if you mess up or there's something you don't like you can just paint right over it it's not a finite decision so if you're unhappy with something don't worry about it you can paint right over it and if you're scared, then just do light washes. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the idea I had for this video. And I can't wait to see if any of you make your own Halloween pumpkins or paint them. If you do, tag me in them on Instagram or Tumblr or Twitter or wherever you upload it because I would really love to see them. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, spoopy October. And I will see you in the next video. As always, I'm going to put the supplies that I used in the description down below, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye bye Yo, 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 yo,